everybody. Uh, well, I'm making this uh, tutorial because I've been receiving some comments on my YouTube video of Umbrella Corporation Computer uh, asking me how did I did uh, that customization to my PC. Well, basically it's a really, really easy thing to do. First of all, we have to look for a, for a program called Tune Up Utilities 2007. If we goggle it, uh, it's uh, well. I add the word soft tonic to the to the search because that's where I found this program. Right now we're on the version 2009. I haven't downloaded yet, but soon I will be doing it. Well, the only thing that you need to do is you may click on the Tune Up Utilities uh, uh, search results. Well, as soon as we uh, click on the result, it's going to appear this screen. Uh, as I told you before, we have the 2009 version right now, so you have to download it. Well, in my screen is appearing on Spanish because uh, I'm in Mexico and most of my uh, pages appear in Spanish. So, well, you download this program and after we download this program, we have to install it. Uh, well, uh, the next step, it's going to look the boot screen that and the uh, login screen that we want to put on our computers so the next step is going to look in the page Debian Art. well the page we're looking for right now is debianart.com uh, this is uh, uh, this page is in, in English so okay the next step is uh, we have to look for the umbrella corporation uh, login screen and boot screen so we'll uh, search for it and we look for the things that we are looking for well as you can see we have a lot of themes related uh, with the umbrella corporation we have here a lo uh, login screen uh, also we have a wallpaper here and a lot of other stuff about umbrella corporation this is a, a really good page first of all uh, let's say we're going to look for the login screen Okay, as we can see, this is a Umbrella Corporation login screen. The following thing that we need, what, that we need to do is uh, to download this uh, this login screen. We just make uh, you, we just click on download, and and we just save the login screen on our computer okay as soon as we download the login screen we have to put for the boot screen and this is a this is going to take a little more time because there are not that much uh, boot screen for of umbrella I think there's only uh, like four or five of them and we have to look for it right now. Okay, right now we have here a boot screen for for Win XP, and we just do the same process. We download the picture. I mean, we download the boot screen and save it into the hard drive. So, okay, right now we already have all that we need to. Uh, make this customization well the following step I assume that you already have the tune up utilities already installed on your system we have to open it and we're going to have uh, on the main screen of the program we're going to choose uh, tune up styler 2 and this is the problem that it's going to do all the work it's uh, really easy to use and right now I'm going to teach you how to uh, add uh, the boot screens that we already downloaded. Most of the uh, of the boot skins and the logon screens of the DeviantArt are uh, in a RAR file, so you have to unzip it and put it into a folder. So the following step is change the boot screen. 
The only thing that we need to do is click on uh, boot screen. Here, uh, well, mine is in Spanish. As I already told you, I'm in Mexico, so most of my programs are in Spanish. So we have to add the new uh, boot boot screen. So we uh, well we uh, make click uh, we click on add. Uh, we have charge uh, boot screen. We choose uh, which boot boot screen we want to add. Most of the boot skins have the extension dot boot skin, so we s we select that one and we click on open. Then the system is going to load it. And well, in my case, I have two of them. One uh, was made by Wild Wolf, and the other one was for all the gals. I mean, so we choose the uh, the boot, the boot skin that we want. Um, in this case, I'm going to choose the Wild Wolf one, and we used to make double click on the on the skin, and it's going to appear like the preview of, of how it's going to look on the start of Windows. So as soon as we check it, we can close it, and then we do the same process to the login screen. Click on add, we choose the, the skin that we want to place. For example, right now I'm going to add the Umcorp logon screen. And we do the same process. We choose which one we're going to choose. I'm going to choose right now the one of that I just download which is uh, the author is Grim Demon okay and to install this uh, login screen we just make a <coughs> click on the right click on the screen that we want to use and press install and we may click uh, choose the English language because well my computer is in English and we're going to wait a little bit to uh, for the program to install it okay the next step is going to be uh, choosing a a team that matched uh, the customization that we already made I have here in appearance uh, a black and red uh, customization that I found on the internet you can find it on uh, well in a lot of pages just look for the one you like I have here and you just click on OK OK now um, I already have the appearance on the computer uh, the next step is going to be restoring our computer as soon as we do that process we're going to be able to watch all the changes that we have made on the system also well you can change your uh, desktop wallpaper for one that you can find on DebianArt or on the internet so that's it that's all that we have to do in order to turn our computers into an umbrella corporation computer. So if you have a doubt about something, just uh, send me a message and I will be able to help you with it. And thank you for uh, watching this video. And I'm really sorry about my English.